Hi guys, Sir Robin here with episode 2 of Life is Feudal Forest Village on the town of Westwind. So, let's just get back into it. Now I uh, placed in a couple mines. So I got a stone, oh sorry, stone mine over here. I've got a ore mine over here. And a clay mine over here. And I just set those there to begin with so that I actually have spots for mines. And so I don't like build over them and then like decide later, oh shoot, I need spots for mines. So I placed those first. And we won't be building them now, but just to put them there um, so that we can build them later. Um, so I, I added a lot of mods for, I have another game that I'm playing and I added a lot of mods to that one. and nothing to enhance to enhance like the villagers themselves so like everything still has the same like effectiveness like let's say like these tools like they I didn't add a mod where the tools last longer or be more effective because I feel like it just takes a part of the game and like I didn't I didn't add capacities to barns or anything but I just I put in things that either help me so like I can zoom out further so like before I could zoom out to only about there which isn't bad but if when we get bigger it might be nice to uh, be able to see outside like see a larger area and see it, different views and things like that um, and I also added things that is gonna add to the detail of the game I feel like so for instance as far as um, decorations and things goes like there's there's more decorating there's like town decorations there's like an outhouse is one of them but like that different statues and there's subsections for statues so it's just gonna give us a bunch more like availability I guess and like crates like we have different kinds of crates so we can like put crates like this and we can have crates like that and the whole the whole nine yards so it doesn't like I said it doesn't affect how the game is played it just like will give us we'll be able to get more out of the game i think so like even up here now before you only got like this much like you, you didn't even have scroll bars because there was a couple like there wasn't so many things but now we can make things like cheese and stuff because um because of another building which is the dairy building i want to say yeah dairy is what it's called and then it's just like a whole new building so like i added things that's gonna add to the game and add different buildings and uh, looks and things like that to the game so um, I hope that's alright I think it will be like I said it's just for details and things like that and adding a bit more to the game um, so yeah um, last game we ended with putting this barn in place and that looks good and then we were talking about putting warehouse this over here and I had first thought about putting my warehouse um, originally I had thought of putting it like this and tucking it in but I think I might tuck it in like this because we can kind of just fit it in there real nice if I just cut this out and then and then that makes us able to probably put a house in here um, tucked in minus like little ledge here so I think that's what we'll do um, also as far as the scarecrow remember how I s oh, oh. Apparently this has got a much larger span. Actually, that was a mod too that I completely forgot about. So I guess this one has like some more benefits than just where it is. But actually, that's not a bad that's not a bad thing because I was gonna I was gonna take it out and replace it and put it here so it get got all of this um, because I had forgotten that there was two spaces here. Like, uh, you see, there's two. There's one and two. So if I put it here, let's say, or something, it wouldn't like did like get get in the way of anybody because they could just walk on the other side around it so I was gonna switch that but this works better because I guess it's not in the way like at all now anymore but but yeah I guess that's a thing now so our scarecrows are more productive so or not more productive they got a bigger radius though so so I guess that's that's not that's all right so um, I'm just gonna start playing it bring it back to times five uh, times ten just to get this built uh, probably bring it to times two just to just for starting right now and yeah we're gonna we're gonna let our builders or not our builders or our labors 
hopefully try and get all that food in there and then we can take this one down um, as soon as we can they're gonna first I guess they're gonna get rid of the stuff in the way here but they won't build it because I have a pause but they'll just get it out of the road so when it's ready to build it'll just be built um, but yeah so we're gonna start by taking this down and we're gonna take it right right to the edge I think we're gonna bring it we're gonna bring it to right there and we're gonna go go from a low view and try and level it out level it out as best as we can right there um, I also had added a mod to where um, the building uh, the building doesn't take so long like are not building sorry terraforming because like I think this would have taken f five like shovels or whatever you want to say like um, five labor to um, get it like this and that's I mean that's fine and all but I don't think it's really necessary like we want to we want to terraform it so that we can mold it to the way we want it not the progress of the way we want it you know we just want it kind of done and just speed things up a little bit so I thought that was not a bad mod either um, so we're gonna stick in this if we can. Oh, we can already. We don't even have to do more than that. Oh, sorry, sorry about that. My hand slipped. But we're gonna bring it right to the back if we can. Butt it up. Ooh, we can bring it right in if we want. That might be kind of fun. We'll bring it so the end is just right on the edge there. And we're gonna put that there. I paused it there without realizing. They're gonna have to terraform a little bit. I don't know where. Probably up here a little bit. But yeah, we need that to be built. Um, hopefully we can bang this out. Hopefully they realize they can go in there and bring the stuff out. Now I haven't really tested too much whether these mods are gonna um, like affect affect the game at all like other villagers won't be able to like for some reason if they won't be able to bring materials or something it doesn't look like that so far um, but let's just hope for the best and hopefully that doesn't like it doesn't affect it too much so yeah so we'll uh, we're gonna bring it down again a little bit still haven't brought anything over there which is oh yes reason being is because I haven't taken this one down yet I have to take it down so they realize to bring everything over here so now they'll go in and they'll bring it over here and when this is built, I'll do the same thing with this one. And then I try and put a house in here. Um, so we only have four people. So we have seven laborers. I'm going to put... Uh, oh, sorry about that. I'm going to put two foresters on so we can try and start getting some uh, some lumber in. Because, like I said, especially early game, that's a real struggle. Late in the game, like later in the game, like uh, with a game I had tried... Or I have been playing, um, like, offline... I got into a later game and that it seems to be better like wood isn't big as big of a worry because you can just keep a couple guys on there and they'll go year round chopping wood and that's not an issue so I found it more of an issue of like balancing like oats and um, like food I had struggled with food I tried expanding I think a little bit too fast um, I kind of I've corrected it since but yeah I had a couple of years there I was struggling to keep my guys alive but we're not here to talk about that we're going to talk about this, and we're going to hope that this gets built sooner than later. I guess what else I can do is, like I promised you guys, I will try and smooth this out so it doesn't look so rigid. So I think that's what I'm going to start with here right now. So you see how that changes it a bunch. I can bring it all the way up. I can bring it even a little bit, and I think I'm just going to bring it a little bit. So at the bottom it brings it up just a bit and it may look better. Um, and I'll do the same thing for this side. Oh, can't do that there apparently because there's things in the way. Oh, I forgot. I also put in that on. I also put in a, a pyre because we're going to need that as well. So that's like when someone dies, they go and they burn on this and it's good. And I, the reason I put it there is because obviously I don't know what else I'm going to put there. But it also keeps it elevated, and I think that'll look really cool when that's done. And that's probably something that we can put right away, because it doesn't cost very much. And it also, if you if you get rid of the 
deceased bodies, it also helps with uh, like diseases, so the disease won't be spread. So here they done this already, and it already looks a little bit better than it was, in my opinion, anyway. And bring it up a little bit more, bring it up a little bit, oh, bring it up a little bit more, and really, it just little increments at a time will make it look better and better and better and stuff like that. So we'll just take this and we'll bring it up even even to like right there. I think would look nice. And just get that done. And we'll put some other guys on building here, building crew. Oh, now we have an issue. I thought we'd be able to make it through this winter with oat wood. Looks like we'll need that. So now I still need a spot to put, my, to put the wood chopping station. Um, I'd thought about putting it in here, but I like how it's elevated, so I'm just going to keep that um, where it is. But it might be something that I'll have to put right here or. Yeah. I'm trying to decide. Still trying to decide. Because I want it relatively close to my barn so that people can get get there and get back and stuff. So Now eventually we're going to be expanding up here, like I said. So we'll have a bunch of houses out here. So I'm going to have to have a barn here and a barn up here sometimes, somewhere. So they wouldn't have to be walking down all the time and coming here. Um, but this works good for anything down here. Like all the fields and stuff we'll have down here and coops or whatever. So um, we're going to keep this here, obviously. But yeah, so I'm trying to think. Where would make a spot for fire chopping, firewood chopping? No, it probably wouldn't be bad up here. Is what I'm probably gonna do because then they only gotta come down, get their wood, bring it down, and then later in the game they'll be able to bring it somewhere else. Um, if need be, just because I don't know what else, where else I'm gonna put it. I guess I can start taking this down here as well. Maybe I can take everything out of there, but. Um, yeah, I guess I really got to get that wood chop going. Wood lumberjack. Um, that's also something I can tuck in here too if I want and then put her house over here or put this here and her house there. Yeah, we could try to do that. So, small house. And we'll try again to see if we can get something like that in there somehow now I th so to do that I think I'm going to just take it piece by piece not quite so far right there and I'm gonna bring it down like I said piece by piece I guess what I can do actually which would be much smarter, I think, is if I flatten that height, get this height, and then just start working on it like that. Yeah, that would be way better. That works best. Yeah, so I'll do that, get them to do that real quick. In fact, I'm going to take you and I'm going to go do it myself. Okay, get you to build. Oh. Ah. Oh, I thought they wasn't gonna be able to because that rock was in the way or that piece of ore. But mm, boom, toot my horn. Uh, get all of that, and I'll probably end up rounding this up too. But just for now, so I can put in a small house. that and then if I put wood chop right there I think that would be good so I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to take more from here and just do something like that do I have to take I do have to take oh you already did it right on okay wood chop okay so we're gonna Try 
try and sneak in as close as we can. I think that looks nice. And we're going to pause this. And we're going to um, try and get that going. We're going to prioritize it, actually. Get that going right away. Now our guys, I hope, will be okay. I think they'll be all right. We might have a couple deaths, but not a bunch we can do, really. Um, we're going to need a bit more wood. So we can get a couple people uh, doing that, chopping a couple trees down, get get rid of that one, and get rid of this one here. That's a good one. This one and this one there. Now that'll that'll suffice for sure to get in here. But then we need some wood to chop as well. So um, yes, we're gonna get that going as soon as possible. Um, and we have one teenager. We could use her to help out. I'm just trying to see. We need we need ten stone and sorry, twenty stone. And hmm. Yeah, it's our issue there. For some reason didn't look at that. So we're going to need stone. No, we have a bunch of stone. Oh, it's just in there. Okay, okay. So we can use her. And we're gonna go and we're gonna take ten. Ten of this. Ten hay. Green over here. Oh, not that one. We want wood choppers. Now, like I said, I think they'll be fine because it's already, like I said, it's already spring. Speaking of which, I should put on my farmers. But it's already spring, but they still need to be, see, they're still going to be cold all the way until plus 10. So we'll see what we can do about that. But for right now, let's put these two guys in there. Grass and potatoes. We don't need any more grass. Um, we could use potatoes. What else could we do? We do flax. Um, oats we won't need right now. We could do wheat. Um, but I'm going to do potatoes. I'm gonna do two potatoes. Yeah. Get that get that working. So now yes, we still need still need twenty stone, so I'm gonna do that. Cause they're gonna move all of this all these materials over to the other warehouse before they start building this over here, I'm pretty sure. So I'm just gonna do it manually because I kinda want it done. I hope you guys agree with me. You can already, you can already see if you take, if you take, if you take these this warehouse and this barn out, how more open it's gonna be. This whole thing, like you'll be able to see the fields from here and everything. Like, it's gonna be way better. Toot my horn again. And need two more stone. No, sorry, four more stone. Because we just got sixteen, so we need four more stone. So we'll bring it down to four. We'll take that, and then we'll be able to build it. And then we, ooh, morphed into here. Teleported. Keep tooting my horn. Right on. Okay, so this is ready to just be built. And we are going to do that manually. If some people want to, if some people are going to help, <laughs> like, because I have some builders on, then that's all good. But if they don't, I will do it myself. See this person here is gonna come and help me build. Do the horn. That'll be good. Now, along with switching over these shacks to small houses, like the one over by the fishing farm or the fish farm we're gonna need to probably work on trying to get tools high quality tools because that that is something that really affects the productivity of your village and obviously we want everyone to be as productive as possible so um, we're gonna have to work on that eventually sooner than later but right now it's not an issue and then also clothing as well because I think our meal will take take people pretty fast I 
and I'm gonna terraform all this after these are built so that well I guess I can I can do it after this but I just wanted to place these first before I can fix it all up I'll show you over at the other uh, barn over there what it looks like with the new newly terraformed there it'll look better for sure toot my horn keep on building it's gonna be good when it's done get close probably not too much more it does take a little bit but I could always just get out and have some more people work on it It's at 7 out of 8, so I'm just going to get her to do it. She's not going to eat. She is instead going to finish this off. Now we can take our builders off and it'll be good. So yeah, I hope you guys are, hope you guys are liking this and going to keep watching me. I'm going to probably keep playing um, anyway because I like this game and... It's always, at the beginning, it's always just about, like, just about seeing what, seeing how it's all going to work out, and then see how, seeing how everything's going to come together, and then after that, and you start fooling around with how everything's going to look and stuff, but, yeah, so we're going to take off, well, we're not going to take off, ah, we're going to take off one builder and put on a wood chopper, so that'll be good. So now they're going to bring the wood, I'm just going to chop some wood, which is going to bring it over to the barn, and then from there, it'll get to these houses so nobody dies, hopefully. Farmers are working on that. Uh, I decided that I'm not going to put up this pavement on this side, unless, like I said, unless you guys comment otherwise, but... Um, I think it'll be quite a while before someone comments on these videos, so I'm just gonna not do it and then just see how it looks. Um, as far as this too, the fish farm, I told you about Skystorm, the person who I'd watched um, play this game and then um, who kind of nudged me to play this game myself and show you guys. He did end up getting fish farms, but like way late in his second series of this game. He had two series. He had one about building his village, and then he had one about building like a city and a castle area there so way late in his second series building the cast and everything but he came out with the update of the fish farms so he had also he was saying that these have to be out in the deep and that you'd have to build bridges there which I'm pretty sure you can do but I don't like it's not clearly it's not necessary like you can just put them on the edge and put one little bridge and then it's all good so that they can be out in the deep but they don't have to be so we've got our barn finished Obviously, we're going to have to fix these roads after, too, unless we find something that'll fit right in there. Um, which, again, I'm not sure if I, I will. I kind of want to keep it a little bit more open, at least on this side. And then on this side, maybe we'll have something. I think maybe... Uh, what should we do? What should we do? I'm trying to think. We could have, like, an orchard here. And then something else here. I'm not sure yet. We'll think about it here. Coop, we could have another field. This is an up. Uh, this is a mod. They look. That looks all right, but that kind of goes hand in hand with the kitchen. Kind of goes beside, because clearly, like it says here, it says kitchen garden cost per cell. So yeah. So this hunting cabin, hunting lodge, the lodge is a mod as well. So like, I just want to get mods that will give us better not better but more availability towards buildings and such so so yeah right here look at it doesn't look like 100 percent, but it gives it a bit more and i'm still i'm still gonna even try and do more with it if i can make it uh bring it up like that just make it more a little bit more realistic if possible i mean obviously this wouldn't be realistic because this it wouldn't be cut out like this unless it was like humanly done but I still want them to look a little bit more rigid and not so yeah so could do that but I'm gonna I'm not gonna do that bring it like that and whoo it's quite the storm right now So 
so we've got all this the hall yet yeah, two into the warehouse into that one before we can uh, take this down so but yeah opens it right up then I'll be taking one of these out when this is built taking one of these shacks out um, and I'm just thinking too we might fill up this this side and this side with like houses then have fields on the other side of it uh, we'll see still undecided about what we're gonna do that it's obviously it's a little bit later game so I'm just trying to trying to think ahead but also trying to think of now what it's gonna be like so just taking firewood there and as you can see all these are no longer cold I mean it is plus 20 already but at least we're getting a stockpile of firewood right there so um, very small actually not even no stockpile but we're we're getting there we'll get there so yeah running low on vegetables and a little bit on fish as well but we still got a sh shite ton of bread got a bunch of bread but this is gonna help too having two fields of potatoes um, sowed and gathered this year so I okay, still got a bunch of high quality uh, tools so like I said that's gonna have to come but not quite now uh, clothing not too bad not too worried about it right now um, but I will however start to terraform this part as well just a little bit here and there just trying to bring it up bring it what I feel is good just a little bit oh can't really do it can't do it there for the moment I'll have to wait till I'll have to wait till this is done and then I can, can get in there like that but it's good for now oopsie in fact, I can take a teenager if I want. I'm gonna do that. Go get her to get some of this terraforming done. So yeah, just trying to trying to get it all done. Get over, get over that view, and it just it just brings up a ledge, so it doesn't look so harsh. That's what I think. But I am, however, going to bring that down just so I can bring down this little bit of a rocky ledge there. I like the rocky ledge, but on the on the edge here, I think looks better than anything. So, kind of like this little point here. I kind of like how I shaved it as clean as I could, basically right there. I'll see if I can go cleaner yet, but I don't think I can. Yeah, I don't think I can. shave off more than that that's okay but uh, yeah I think our next plan is probably to oh oh look at this we got the pyre built and yeah like I said I think it just I think it looked nicer elevated because like this it would be the same height as this basically if it wasn't elevated but now it's bringing up basically a whole pyre length maybe a little bit less but like a three-quarter pyre height just brings it up, I think, and, and separates it. And I'll, again, because I don't know what else I would have put there. So, yeah. So, I got exact clay mine there, stone quarry there, and an ore mine there. Now, this one is facing down. This one's facing out this way. And this one's facing, like, at a diagonal this way. So, yeah. Um take a guy off there not like he's not like it's that bad but this is yeah this is starting to get take down taken down so I guess we should start thinking about what our next move is um, like I said we'll, we'll keep doing houses as much as we can and maybe our next move is just to get this um, start building but uh, the issue that I found or not the issue but like early game is something to also realize is some of these bigger buildings like like these and stuff like obviously I'm not going to be building them now but you see that they need 70 clay on the far side over here when I, it's over there that 70 clay um, is needed to build that building and we will be building those buildings but eventually but even some other smaller buildings you need clay and the only way to get clay is if you have a clay mine and you won't really need much more than like one clay mine for quite a while but you need a clay mine because that's the only way to get it so we're gonna have to start building that but the only way to do that again is with a bunch of wood so early game like you need a bunch of wood 
and I'm gonna keep this stockpile of wood. Just keep keep these guys going on it for a while because we need uh, firewood for next next winter. So this guy's almost done, and he's done now. She, I should say. Um, and I'm going to get them to just keep clearing this because I just want it to stay a little bit more clear so I can see what's going on. I'm going to get them to do that. Plus, that's going to bring up our wood count, which, is, again, is important early game, and we might be able to even start building this, but actually, I think I probably, our first move is, is to uh, start that and maybe take, like, delete this. Not delete it, but uh, get rid of it, take it down. Maybe our, we're going to, well, uh, like, if I take these down, then the well's going to be in the middle of nowhere, so maybe our next move out as well is to think about where we can put a well. I was hoping there might work, but obviously it's not going to. Over here, I guess, could work. Possibly. Maybe if I terraform that a little bit. Yeah. I think I might have to. Well, I don't have to, but I don't... I want it somewhere just tucked away because it's something really small. And I don't want to put it like somewhere like right here or anything. Oh, that's a crypt. <laughs> I don't want it to be here. I can't even put it there, so... I'm going to be trying to put it somewhere like there. Actually, Someone will go and do that as well. Um, I'm going to take this off and get that going as well. Get that built, and then I can get another one of these. Uh, I'm not going to delete that until I have a well over here. But see, since it's raining, all this water's going up. And see how it's going down like that? It's because he's loosening the earth. So, yeah. It's not. He's, he's trying, to, trying to help it out, but it's not going to do much until it stops raining. But the way it goes but we're into summer and our potatoes are almost done I'm gonna uh, I'll start harvesting them they're almost ready and then I can try and have a better chance of getting them in so uh, try and get those in as, as good as you can this is done here so I'm gonna see if I can place a welder now sure enough I can and I'm gonna I was gonna turn it if I could ah, there we go build this as well so got some builders got some got something got a little bit of everyone there so this is going here so I should get ready on deleting one of these guys I think I'm gonna get rid of this one first just like that now every, everyone's gonna move in here but we still have a we still have room for people to have kids and stuff I guess also another thing to think about is school for the school because the better the sooner you do that the better so maybe up here, um, we'll have to see. I like that I fixed the, the height of this. It's still a little bit low, but it's a lot less noticeable. It isn't a perfect height. But uh, yeah. So our food supply was going down. We just only had fish there for a bit, I'm pretty sure. We could end up putting a fishing lodge over here, which actually probably isn't a bad idea, which we might might do right now like i said i like fish farms better i just don't like how they look um and something about fish fishing is that it it's you can do it year round too so like i can put a couple of my guys in the fisherman fisherman's lodges just to get some more off or not some more off get some more food so and as you can see that doesn't take much at all either so i'm just going to put that out there and I think that'll look nice with a little bit of a tilt. Um, yeah, I guess we can get rid of this as well, this well here. Um, also thinking about taking out some of these roads because they don't not even need it anymore. So I'm going to do that. I 
can do that. Oh yeah, they're doing it. Didn't look like it to start there. They're doing it. We'll get that and we will put in a road right here because when it was terraformed it took it out so we'll put that back up there and make it look nice again. Yeah, shaping up to be quite the village. Oh, this is getting built. It's almost done. Here we go. Boom. Look at that. Now, something I wish, and I think actually would be super cool, is if um, if they just took this little boat, they just come out in here cast, but then it's like, why is there this boat here? I know it's just to fill the space kind of, but like it'd be cool if they just roamed around, like rode around a little bit here and and fished out from the boat. I think that would be cool. As you can see, they just cast out, but ah, it's not that big of a deal. Like, not an issue really. Um, I guess something else too that I like to do, like I said with my other game, is uh, here a trade fair. I like I like my guys getting or my citizens getting food and all their resources from like one of these instead of a barn. I, I don't know, it seems a little more civil, I guess. I don't, I don't really know the reason behind why I like doing it, but I like doing that. And so I think maybe we can have these in the middle here. I don't know if we want one or if we want two. I also like to do, um, especially when we get bigger, and we have some of these here, we have two, one with like, one with like food and one with supplies like tools and clothes and like uh, firewood and charcoal. I think we might do that, but then again, we might just put it like just up here like first thing you walk in which actually sounds better to me so then these guys can still get stuff but um but it's not like right down here plus i think even like these two i don't think i'll put a house down here i think i'll put these two like up here somewhere like when i replace them with the small houses so i think that's probably what i'm gonna do so that's probably my next move i'm also going to start um, just not, I, I, I'm, I've been clearing the trees, but start clearing the stone and the ore and all that to get them doing something. I'm also going to put one more guy in fishing for this fishing, fisherman's, fisherman's lodge. So that'll oh, get us some more fish, give us more food. I think they'll be good. Now it's late summer and we're getting these in. I think that's going to be wonderful. These have stopped growing completely now, because um, they're all they're all fully grown anyway to begin with. But they've stopped doing that. I think that looks better. I think I like that. Like I like how they're just tucked in, tucked away. Yeah, I like that. I like like this too. It's elevated a bit there. Um, our next move is probably to think about getting this clay mine. And that's going to drain all of our wood, our log resources. But again, kind of need that early on to begin with. Um, after the end of this episode, I might end up just like thinking about like what our next move is for up here because we can do some stuff down here for sure. But like I said, I'm going to move these shacks into small houses, move the people from the shacks into the small houses up here. And so I kind of, I need to place these before I can really do much down here. Um, again, we might have an orchard or something. Maybe, maybe we'll have a blacksmith and stuff down here. Um, maybe we'll just have one big crop field. I'm not, well, maybe not one big one, but you know, uh, just really, really not too sure yet. Um, maybe we'll have a kitchen, like, not too sure. Not too sure yet. We can put in some bakers. We can put in, uh, Kilns, Weaver, maybe our Weaver can be down here. Trying to decide. Um, as far as ports go, right here we've got a port. And I think, well we didn't really have a spot, did we? We were thinking over here, but I mean that's late game. Like this is Victoria Island, but this is late game. To get over there, because like I said, we're going to build out and over here so 
late game. Actually, it might be sooner than you think. We'll build out here a little bit first, a little bit of a village. We'll have foresters in here and keep this all brush, like bush. And we'll just hop across and do something over here. It might be fun. Relatively flat, so that's not bad. Actually, it's all pretty flat as soon as you get... Um, sorry about that. As soon as you get past this ledge here, or this here, kind of on this little hump, it's not too bad. It could be worse. It could be a heck of a lot better. But uh, we are in planes somehow, so that's just how that is. Well, I think we'll end the episode after these guys get the potatoes in. We'll crank it up to times 10. Like I said, guys, I'll think about what we want to do up here and the rest of down here. Try to figure out before next episode. We could always have a windmill that doesn't keep it open like I wanted it to. We'll see. Like I said, maybe we'll put a Maybe we'll put a port down here though too. That could be fun. Right directly across from these stairs, come right down into the port. That wouldn't be too shabby. Maybe we can do that and have a couple of bakers here because for um, these expeditions you need bakers. So maybe we have a couple of bakers here. I'm actually liking the sound of that and just keeping these in the fields here. So maybe it wouldn't be as open as I was thinking, but it'd still be all right. I'm gonna take this guy off as soon as he's done the potatoes right there and he keeps going back to eat or something come on we got seven potatoes left seven potatoes here it is nice so I'm gonna take him off and see what this guy's can this guy can take off and before it freezes and minus one but yeah we're up to 1400 vegetables that's pretty good pretty darn good now, also, I guess while this guy's finishing up here, um, I talked about the fields and how I'm trying to maximize out per one worker or whatever. See, there's two workers here. I'm trying to get the most I can out of one worker. So, like, trying to push it to the limits, like, there or something, nine, nine times 21. But uh, I found in my other game that, especially a late game, you don't really want to be micromanaging when you guys are off the fields like I just did there. You kind of just want to set them during spring and then take them all off during winter. So with that being said, you don't come here and you don't really harvest early when it's that late game. So you basically just, you, like I said, you want to set them in spring and uh, keep them going through the fall. So um, instead of maximizing the area that one person could do, these ones are okay. When it's just one person, I find that it's all right. Like I said, I, I did these a bit early, but they were almost done fully grown and we got all the potatoes in like if I had just left them we would have got a little bit more potatoes but not a big deal um, so it's not bad when it's one person but when you when you make fields that are anything like t like four people working on them whatever like this big you're gonna always have to harvest early and if you don't half your crops gonna go because they're just gonna wait till it's fully grown um, and that kind of sucks so what I'm gonna do is like for instance that was a four workers, and I'm gonna push it. So this is about the max. This is the max I can do with four workers. This space here. I'm gonna take it back a little bit, not all the way to three, but about a halfway, kind of halfway. See, like this is max for four here. So I'm gonna go in like that, one square each side, and I'm still at four. And if I go in two more than at three so I'm gonna kind of keep it just that about halfway and you don't like that doesn't seem like a lot but it helps like just starting to take off your vegetables early so that's something for a little bit little not late game but just when you get more fields up here so uh, yeah I'll get these guys going again but anyway guys uh, hope you like the episode we're at the end here now and uh, if you like the comment Sorry, if you like the video, leave a comment, uh, leave a like. Uh, if you like it, keep coming back and watching. If you don't, I said this last time, I'm not I'm not too upset if you don't come back and watch it. Um, just whatever you guys think. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.